ahead and hit that button for future solutions now. Any clips, news, names, or information used in this video is for fair use commenting, criticism, educational, and fair use purposes. Viewer discretion is advised. The statements or comments in this video are alleged and all accused offenders are innocent until proven guilty. Now let the scrutiny begin and enjoy. Child Care Criminals and Despicable Daycares, Episode 4. Today we will be discussing Carol Cordelia from an unlicensed illegal center in Fairfield, Connecticut. Let's have a nice stare at this compassionless baby drugger and killer. Two months, but police in Connecticut finally bringing charges against the owner of an unlicensed daycare center where a four-month-old died. High levels of an anti-allergy medicine found in the child's blood. And authorities now say the owner made several purchases of the drug. The question, was she feeding it to the kids to calm them down? I went to see reporter Shirley Alicott with the story. She's in the well, Bill, after talking to Fairfield police, that is exactly what was going on here. It's likely how they got these children to sleep. But as we've learned, it can be deadly, which sadly was the case here. 54-year-old Carol Cardillo arrested today facing several charges, including manslaughter in the second degree. Police say she had been running an unlicensed daycare center at her home in Fairfield when back in March, a four-month-old baby was found unconscious and later died at St. Vincent's Medical Center. The medical examiner ruled the death a homicide after finding high levels of diphenhydramine in the baby's system. That is an antihistamine drug that should not be administered to children under the age of two and should only be given to children between the ages of two and four with a doctor's permission. Police say their investigation found that she had been buying large amounts of allergy medication for the last three years. And they believe she's been giving this drug to other children under her care as well. She probably just didn't have the knowledge that uh, this type of medication um, should not be administered to infants, you know, four month old child. And I think it's important to recognize that, you know, there's a family, a new family that uh, lost a four month old baby and uh, is now suffering the loss of that child um, really for the rest of their lives. And to be exact, police tell us it was 90 bottles that were purchased over the course of three years, 90 bottles of allergy medication. Cardillo was released on $250,000 bond. She is back in court next Thursday. Police are hoping this acts as a cautionary tale to parents to be extra village vigilant. Make sure that you do your research and that the daycare center you send your child to is licensed. Live in Fairfield, Shirley Nella. Miss Carol, you have completely lost your mind, haven't you? Why would you give a baby Benadryl that you don't have authorization to give them Benadryl for? Children can't even have Benadryl under the age of two, and you were given a four-month-old Benadryl. The red flags for me went up because you were not licensed. That means you don't want to be regulated. You don't want to follow rules. You want to do what you want to do. And you doing what you wanted to do has cost someone their child's life. That's completely unacceptable. And if you do not want to watch children, meaning if you want to put children to sleep while they're in your care constantly, then you should not be a caregiver. You really just had a great shopping spree, a funky good time, buying Benadryl, 90 bottles, 90 bottles over a three year period. That's just absolutely astronomical. You clearly have been drugging children for a long time and you have been getting away with it for a long time, but everything that you do in the dark eventually will come to light. Unfortunately, somebody child is now gone because you decided to be sneaky and not follow rules. I don't think any sentence would ever be enough. The mother of a four-month-old who overdosed and died from an over-the-counter medicine 
tonight speaking out after the child care facility's owner is sentenced. Good evening, everyone, at 6 o'clock. I'm Bill Renner. And I'm Liz Cho. Carol Cadillo was sentenced today to prison for two and a half years for the death of a baby in her unlicensed daycare in Fairfield, Connecticut. Little Adam Siegel died from an overdose of Benadryl. Today, his parents were in court for the sentencing. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis. They hugged and celebrated justice for Adam, but there were plenty of tears as well. Grieving parents who today saw the woman responsible for their son's death sentenced to prison. Whether it was one year or five years or 10 years, her sentence has a start and end date. Our sentence without Adam is forever. In March 2016, four month old Adam Siegel died after becoming unresponsive in the Fairfield home being run as an illegal daycare center. Initially, it was believed he was a victim of sudden infant death syndrome, but an autopsy revealed an overdose of Benadryl in his system, nine times the allowable amount. The investigation revealed Carol Cardillo had purchased 90 bottles of Benadryl over a three year period. In November, she pleaded no contest to manslaughter. I want the court to know that I'm very sad that this happened to a beautiful little boy. He was a beautiful little boy. Cardillo will serve two and a half years in prison and five years probation. In court, the Seagulls spoke of the unending pain of losing their son and anger over Cardillo's lack of remorse. We've seen the way that she looks at us. We've seen the way that her friends and her family look at us. Uh, there is nothing but disdain in her eyes. Uh, we were very, we've been very, very shocked by just her demeanor. The judge acknowledged this case was never about intent. Rather, Cardillo's, quote, very reckless behavior that led to a death that was 100% preventable. Miss Carol Cordelio, you really not going to take any accountability for what you did? You are really saying, I'm sorry this happened to that little boy, as if you were not the one who did it. You gave him medicine that you should not have given him. You drugged the little boy and took his life, and you're speaking as if you were an innocent bystander and had nothing to do with anything. I'm really tripping. You only got two years. If I was that judge, you probably would have got about 20 years because that's exactly what you deserve. That child will never breathe air again just because you decided you wanted to give him Benadryl to go to sleep. Who does that? You know, you really shouldn't be in child care if you just want to put babies to sleep like that. You are an unfit caregiver. And the fact that you're walking around, you know, not only are you not apologetic, but you are walking around indignant being evil to the parents giving them ugly looks they should be looking at you crazy you should not be looking at them crazy you nor your family members should be looking at them crazy after you killed their baby how heartless are you how cold-hearted are you and your family to sit there and look at someone crazy mean mug someone basically behind your actions you ought to be happy Neither one of those parents jumped across that stand and tried to attack you while you're sitting there not taking accountability of your actions. I can't believe you just got two years. I'm, I'm extremely disappointed at that point blank period. You should have been apologizing to those parents and taking accountability for what you did. Not saying you sorry for what happened as if you are oblivious to how it happened. You a sad individual. That's maggot mind thinking. It's trash. It is sewer thoughts. And that's definitely the definition of a narcissist. And you need to get you some help while you're in prison and get you some help when you get out and stay away from people, kids, baby killer. My amazing caregivers, this is precisely why medication administration training is vital. My directors, my owners, make sure all of your caregivers are trained in medication administration. Not only do you wanna make sure everyone is trained in medication administration, but you wanna make sure you have written consent for everything that you give these children, especially medication. You should never, never give a child medicine without having permission from the parent. And once you do have permission from the parent, and you need to follow whatever that doctor recommended if it's prescribed on the bottle, or you need to go based off of what the bottle says if it's over the counter. Another thing for my parents, 
and even some unlicensed caregivers out there. In the state of Texas, it's kind of illegal. You're not supposed to be doing that unless you're doing one-off babysitting every once in a while. And even then, they still want you to be listed, okay? This is exactly why our child care facilities have to be registered or licensed. Licensing is not created to be the bad guys. They are put in place to make sure you are following minimum standards, minimum procedures to make sure that we are offering the best care that we possibly can to these children, to make sure that we are keeping them safe and doing what we need to do to make sure they thrive. So all of my parents out there, all of my unlicensed daycares um, in the state of Texas or, or anywhere else, be mindful. This is something that could take place, okay? You want to be licensed or you want to be registered to make sure you're saving lives. You want to make sure you have medication administration training for everyone who is caring for a child in your facility. This is Melanie with the Roundaway Training Consultants. Thank you for joining me for this fourth episode. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Created using Powtoon.